Uh-huh. And that's the re- and part part of me wants to go, revert back to cash, mm-hmm. because when you pay with cash at a uh, at a rest uh, not a restaurant but like at a store or something like that, it ain't no turn the the thing around and say hey you would you want to get ten fifteen <laughs> or twenty two Don't worry about it because I click no and turn it <laughs> right <back>. right <laughs> no I think that's that's around. like when you order food like you order food online or you um yeah order food online or call in or order um pay for it. Go pick it up. Then they still ask if you want to. What am I giving you? I, I, did, give this. You no damn tip. I did this. Yeah, yeah. I did this. I drove all the way over here with my son. Right. I'm not giving no tip. So. Yo, welcome to the cave with Mel Troy and Lex. The podcast with men that have a safe space. We on all platforms. You need to tune in. Hit the like button. Subscribe and share with your friends. Welcome to Melody, the podcast for men that have a safe space. Welcome to Melody, welcome to the cave with Melody and Lex. Lex. On his one. You did. What? He generalized me. It's cool, though. When did I generalize you? When you called me a conservative. You are. You have, con- you're, you're, you have <laughs> conservative views. The majority of views are conservative. So that would make that would make you. Are they conservative or are they? Uh, what's the best way for me to describe it? Yeah, because I don't I don't like the the terminology of conservative. It has a negative com- connotation to it. I'm okay with conservative. I think it's the certain things that people label as conservative when I really feel like it's more about decency, decency versus like. But that is the. Uh, that is a definition proper, of conservative. Proper and decent. <laughs> proper and decent. Conservative means proper and decent. Yeah, to to an extent. If you, I mean, if you look at the respectable, that means conservative. Right, but that, what I'm saying is that is your your viewpoint on a certain thing. To be conservative would be proper, decent, etc. That's how you would describe. Here's it. the definition. The definition of conservative is adverse to change or innovation. And holding traditional values, conservative, uh, right, right, decent, etc. Yeah, I think in some ways I can be very, depending on the conversation, I would say conservative. But I think I'm pretty liberal. I wouldn't consider myself conservative, just because of some of my other practices and habits and principles. I think I'm still pretty liberal. I'm just not as uh, radically liberal as Lace. Laces are you I would consider you a radical liberal. Like you are That's liberal. Right. You're you're just more like you say, open minded than most people. So you're just extremely extremely liberal where just like you know, the world is my oyster type. Is it wrong to be conservative in thought? That's what that's what it boils down no. to. I don't think it's wrong to be con- I don't think it's wrong to be conservative um in thought at all. I just I'm always of the belief that no Decent person is all the way one thing. Mm, so mm-hmm. you can't be all the way conservative or all the way liberal and still consider yourself a decent human being because there's times to be liberal and there's times to be conservative. Mm-hmm. And if you're only just choosing the one that you mm-hmm. live in, then, you know, or that you feel like you most align with. I rock with that. Because to be one way at all times is to be an extreme. Right. And to not consider that there's potentially a better way at looking at something. True. So that's why I said some. Th- I guess some things I feel like I would be considered conservative on, and then there's just a lot more other things that I'm very liberal with. So I just it pick and choose. I just think it's time and place mm-hmm. depending. Mm-hmm. I think I'm more liberal than I am conservative. I like to see myself respect. Respect. I like to see myself as being purple, mm. mixture of red and blue. Well, I tell you, I'm going to be very red pretty soon if they don't come up with something. (laughs) (laughs) And that's not not because of conservativeness. It's just because one group talking about BS and the other one talking about life. And I'm in the life section. And I'm not in the BS. I'm not in the Wonderland section no more. Like, that was cool at the time, but we got a lot of stuff going on now Mm -hmm. that we just got to get to. And I can't be worried about foolishness is your is your bend on that more on the uh uh financial business side of it 
yeah, more the financial economic aspects of it, not necessarily the uh, social mm-hmm. social parts of it. Mm-hmm. Like that was cool for a while, but we gotta get to this mm-hmm. this money stuff. <laughs> we gotta get this stuff straight. Yeah. So um, if there's no answers to that, or there are, haven't been many answers to that, and if the only answer is continuing to excessively tax those that are already taxed, then if that's the only answer that you have, you got to give me something else to work with. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So if <laughs> the only way for us to solve it is for you to keep taxing me and I'm already taxed at a high rate and the economy is not moving in a direction that's beneficial for where I am right now, mm-hmm. what is that? That, of course, it benefits the people who are not in my tax bracket mm-hmm. because all my money's not all my money, but most of the money is trickling down to them. Mm-hmm. What is that doing for me mm-hmm. in the space that I'm in right now? Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, historically, that's how it goes. The upper middle class, middle class are the most taxed. I mean, that's just what it is. Uh, so whether you are blue, red, purple, whatever, that's just how the system is set up. I mean, you really look at it because when the, uh, we had a other president, even when Obama was president, a lot of that stuff didn't benefit where we were going as far as from a financial standpoint. Mm-hmm. It's the system. I think at the time there was, to me, it seemed like there was more room financially for that to happen. So I feel like if there was room, it probably wouldn't bother me as much. Like if things weren't trending the way that they're trending right now, where mm-hmm. literally everything is up, so then the money, yeah. it just doesn't stretch as far no matter who you are. Right. That's when I'm like, all right, this plan may have been working in the past, but mm-hmm. it's not really working. But that's how you create a balance in that. You know you, what I'm saying? When we had it. Inflation helps in one aspect, but it hinders in others. Mm-hmm. So it's like Rob Peter to pay Paul. You know what I'm saying? So when you got... Companies now who can, because at one point, like even when it comes to like supporting certain candidates or whatnot, a company couldn't just come out and support that candidate. It was individuals supporting, Mm -hmm. but now companies are viewed as individuals. So that's why you see so much money going towards certain candidates, et cetera, those kind of things. So, I mean, it's all, like I said, it's all a game system. It's a big game. And they're using us as pawns to play. Yeah. I mean, you think about it, it. you, you, you um, tamper with, Certain, you take away one thing from um, most people, and we would all be in a struggle in a, in some sense. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Whereas even with a lot of people who um, are would be considered below poverty, et cetera, that are voting for these individuals because uh, because they're gonna address inflation and those kind of things. That stuff don't even impact great in a great way because they're already below a certain. <laughs> bracket so right. it's, it's, it's 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 very intriguing but most people don't read and don't don't pay attention to that kind of thing so yeah i um i've seen some extreme forms of poverty and when i see that so i i be like you i'm like hey man because every single for the past few years we've been we've had to pay taxes and it don't be no little amount oh know trust know i know it don't be no little amounts uh we've had to pay taxes and i'll be like dang come on man like I just earned this money. We needed every single penny. Mm-hmm. Um, and then I see an extreme form of poverty. And I'm like, if my money goes to help them, then I'm I'm cool with it. The thing is, I really don't be seeing that. Right. I mean, how would you? Because, I mean, think right. about it. If, if uh, uh, say, for instance, um, the poverty, I think, in um, in Winston is you have to bring home let's just say $35,000 a year, whatever, to be mm-hmm. above the poverty line. I think it's $32,000 a year. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Savings, you bring home $35,000 a year. You got a kid, and between living, uh, having a place to live, mm-hmm. groceries, let's not say if you got any school debt, anything like that, none of that shit is considered. So to say that thirty five, that you can live off of $35,000 a year is ridiculous. We all know that you cannot do that. You can't do that. So how are you going to get rid of something when you know when you got lawmakers who don't want to bump up minimum wage? Mm. Like that's what I say it's a system. So you can't say that we want to end um end something when you aren't even doing the foundational work to shift it mm-hmm. <laughs> so somebody can have a livable, sustaining wage and not have to worry about being below the poverty line. It just don't it, it it's not apples to apples. Listen, I ain't gonna hold you. When I got my first job and they was like, Hey, we're gonna give you uh forty stacks, I was like, I am rich. Right, right, right. <laughs> yeah, no, no, it's real. For a twenty two year old college student, I am rich. Yeah. I was taking everybody to the buffet. Hey, you wanna go to Golden Corral? I got you. You wanna go to Golden Corral? Right. I got you. Call your friends up. I'm taking them all to Golden Corral. <laughs> mm-hmm. I, I, I I ain't gonna lie, my first check, I I, t- I spent probably about 
I probably spent about five hundred dollars of that first check just buying people stuff. Yeah, mm-hmm. which I leads did. me to my next point. A lot of people are piss poor money managers. That's, That's true, a terrible. <laughs> that was a terrible investment. That's a fact. That was a terrible investment. That is a fact. <laughs> That is Terrible a fact. Investment. I got money. I ain't know what to do with it. <laughs> and having a lot of money don't mean you know how to manage money. Right. That is very true. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. yeah. so, but no, like I said, it's a system, man. And a lot of folks are, are blind to it, unfortunately. Yeah, it's very unfortunate. One of the candidates said if they are elected, they let out uh, everybody who was, I think the phrase was uh, wrongfully um, uh, incarcerated for January 6th. And I was like, hey, bro, that, that's not even a that's not even a talking point. Crazy. Hey, you crazy. Them people went up there was acting a fool, cuz. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm talking about like to the point of, and, I, and I'm not sure if y'all saw the videos, but it was videos of like some of the police officers getting crushed. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, please back up. You're, you're crushing. Like, it was people like because of because they believed that a vote was flipped. Now, right. Well, that's yeah, the lens of evil that we live in, man. Crazy. I mean, it, have you ever thought about, like, just sit back and think about it? Like, they legit stormed the Capitol. <laughs> like, I mean, if you really think, I mean, we, we read stuff in history books about, you know, this happened in these wars and this is what occurred. In the, but, like, we was literally watching. They really went up in there and was yeah. running them up. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah. And Crazy. made no progress or change. None. And but here and here's another thing. They did all of that because America was going to hell. We still here. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like you fought that hard. People are really doing jail time from that. Yeah. But yeah. The real a like, real the, per, the person real jail responsible time. for it ain't. <laughs> so hey, you do the math. You um, do the math. I was uh I was uh I forgot how I how I got in contact with this person, but uh someone that I knew at the moment it was happening, they were sharing the video of their friend who was at the Capitol mm-hmm. and inside watching people come in. Them people was afraid. That I was believe inside it. That yeah. Job. They were afraid. They were hiding under desks, hiding in secret uh, uh, places and stuff like that. Like, they were afraid for their lives. Mm. And well, this is what we... And here's the thing. I'm not afraid of a president. That's not who I'm afraid of. I'm afraid of the nutcases that this that a president can incite. You feel me? Right, because I mean, you got to think presidents make certain decisions, um, and a lot of their policies are they really don't hit till after they are out of that mm-hmm. seat. But it's really the other levels of government in which we elect that are really the ones pushing certain initiatives and agendas. So yeah, people gotta people gotta um, brain up for real. Yeah, I'm uh, like. For you to have that much power over people to make them do something like that, that's scary. Bro. Wow. wow. That is that is scary. Wow. wow. And and I'm, I'm pretty sure y'all might have saw some of the documentaries. Like, I've heard people say, there were good people there. All right, cool. That might have been. I, I, for, let me put on my uh, inclusion hat and say, <laughs> okay, there may have been some good people there. But there were a lot of Nazi flags there. Mm-hmm. There were a lot of anti-Jew flags there. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, uh, um, um, Israelite community uh, flags there. There was there was a noose there with uh, um, uh, hanging in the gallows and stuff like that. I'm like, hey, hey, cuz, this ain't nice people stuff. <laughs> right. right. <laughs> That's not characteristic of it's nice crazy, people. Man. It's crazy. There's no no matter how you slice it, you can't you can't justify it. You cannot justify it. So. so I you you a lot of y'all miss me with a lot of this stuff, and I'm not I'm not advocating for any candidate at all. Uh, I think every candidate has their flaw. I think at the end of the year, at the what ends up happening is we end up picking the uh picking our poison for lack of better words. Mm-hmm. The the one that's gonna that's gonna kill us, um, in the manner that we deserve to be killed. Mm. Yeah, it's gonna be a wild one. But anyway, we back. We back. We back. Fifteen minutes in, and we back. Yeah, went on ten. Okay, all right. What's going on, man? It's your boy Melly Mel, aka <laughs> Melly Badass, aka Meat Mel, aka your favorite truth teller, aka if you don't want to know, don't ask me. It's your boy T. Roy, aka your neighborhood hope dealer. If you need some hope, I got some you could borrow. 
Make sure you like, subscribe, follow. What it do, though? It's your boy, Dr. Life Coach Lace, a.k.a. NBA Old Boy, a.k.a. I'm Him, a.k.a. your favorite councilman, councilman Tate. Let's get it. You really should run for some type of government. I'm good on that. Lace will be good at it. Lace will be. I'm I'm being dead serious, and I've said this before. I've told this. I've told this to several people. Every time I introduced you, the first year you was in Winston Salem, I said Lace is going to be uh, mayor or running this city. Yeah, you got all the skills to make a good. You really do a good. uh, Like I'm sure I'm pretty diplomatic. I'm pretty diplomatic. You got the other intangibles as well. You know what I'm saying? You know how to indirectly answer questions. You know how to avoid answering a question. <laughs> it's other things that a, you know a pop, uh, good politician gotta uh-huh, have. You know you uh-huh. get, you know how to become all things to all people. Ah, uh, you know, okay. In the room that you in, you a chameleon hey, in hey. of sorts. You know. Okay, what I'm I hear you. I hear so it's like you got a lot of stuff that you you know a lot of tools. You, I got the man. stuff. Got yeah, the you can stuff. articulate well. You know, yeah, what I'm saying you know how yeah. to be. Bring mm-hmm. people together, master delegator. <laughs> master you know delegator. That's delegate. a fact. You can delegate. You can delegate. You know what I'm saying? Lace have you doing something you don't even know why you're doing it. You're like, why the hell? <laughs> you halfway through the task and then realize that Lace that got you doing something you shouldn't be doing. Oh, uh, that's funny. That is funny. I can see, I can really see you shaking hands and holding base. Yeah, man. Now I don't know if that's my calling. I don't know if that's my calling. Well, when you do, just let me know. I got you. I'll I'll be on I'll be a part of your support staff. Security? I Okay, that too. I can push the papers. <laughs> <laughs> I can push the papers. You know, if you want me Security, to push the Security. Campaign it. manager. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Troy what it is. campaign manager. I've, I've done security before, and it ain't, it ain't me. It ain't you? It ain't me, bro. <laughs> it ain't me. Because I have to enforce a rule that I really don't believe that I should be enforcing. Mm, mm-hmm. Like, when I was, when I was a, a security on... Um, up in uh, Northern Virginia on this boat, um, they was like, hey, nobody can smoke weed on the boat. Mm -hmm. Well, Pastor Troy and them, they got their own little VIP section, and they blazing up. Who am I Mm -hmm. to go to Pastor Troy's section and be like, hey, cuz, you got to cut that out. When I know for a fact, Pastor Troy being one of my favorite artists back then. <laughs> so that's what it really was. Yeah, if we're, yeah that's, that, what, that, that's, that's what it really was. was. <laughs> I, knowing that, I, I was like, I'm not finna enforce this because as soon as I say something, they, I'm going to turn my back and they're going to blaze right up again. Mm. Mm-hmm. So I'll break up a fight, though. I'll break up a fight now. We know you'll break, I'll break up, a up a fight. We know. We I'll know break up a fight. You risk it all to break up a fight. Risk it all to break up a fight. I will, I will break up a fight. Um, yeah, yeah. That's when I get out the way. Right, I was in Philly. I had to catch a, uh, I had to catch a, a flight going back, and I had just uh, came out of church. I had my suitcase and called Uber. Uber was uh, coming around the corner, and as soon as, uh, as soon as they said they're on their way, uh, these two ladies across the street just started just going at each other, fighting. I was like, Lord. <sighs> put my little suitcase across the across the street. Hey, 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 break it up, break it up. Missed my Uber, almost missed my flight. But I'm glad I was able to break up a fight. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Old biddies would have been tussling, messing with me. I probably would have took my phone out. They, and and they, somebody was going to die. So I'm glad I stepped in. How you figure that? Uh, because I saw the wrath in their eyes mm. towards one another. <laughs> mm. Trying to save somebody from and themselves. You, and you broke it up and diffused the situation just by saying, hey, 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 y'all break it up. I did not. I did not. <laughs> Jonathan Majors the situation. Uh-huh. So I was okay. like, I, I got I got hit in the process. Mm. My face was scratched up. Mm-hmm. And try try explaining that to your wife when you come back from a trip. It sounds made up to Do me. Do she but... ever say anything to you about your escapades? <laughs> like yes, staying she... out of the way, leaving stuff alone, not getting involved? Yes, she has on several occasions. There has been fights on several occasions. And you just... Because you just can't... You, you got to do a man it. of the Bro, people. Just doing it. I'm goodwill, I'm goodwill hearted. You know what I'm saying? It's like, I want the best out of a situation. But you pick the worst situations to infuse yourself No, in. no. And y'all want that in your life. You want somebody like that in your life. What? Something go on in between you and... Uh, uh, let's say something come in between you and your wife. Y'all going at it. Y'all can trust, and if you call Troy, Troy's going to help try to defuse the situation. That's different, though. You know them. Yeah. Yeah. You, you be doing this with strangers. Strangers. Okay. All right. 
strangers is the key to this conversation. Forgive me for having a heart for humanity. I'm just saying, like, you in Philly. Like... <laughs> But it was two black ladies, and I felt like, you know, we was all a part of one family. Okay, keep that up. Keep that up. I don't see what's wrong with that. Hey, I mean, hey, that's your heart. Nothing wrong with it. I wouldn't be breaking it up. I would have got it in my Uber and kept it pushing, but that's just me. Like, they didn't know crazy. <laughs> right, y'all what if somebody, see that. What if somebody get to fight on the court? I'm not breaking that up. Not. They better tussle. Yeah, I'm not breaking that up. Made a winner win. Why not? Because it's mean, not my why? place. That's between them two grown Let them finish it. What if these are your boys, though? Let the, they, they, I, they definitely going to have to finish it. That literally just happened. That literally just happened this week. Literally just happened this week. No, that's between y'all. So you ain't no going ain't gonna to be no A, A, chill, chill. Because uh, because it has multiple repercussions. One, somebody can get hurt. Sure. Okay. Two. I think that's the point of a fight. I'm trying to <laughs> hurt. But okay. <laughs> but okay. And two. That that situation can mess up the situation for everybody, which is true. But it wasn't going to escalate. Now, if they would have, you got don't the, know that. No, if, if they would have got the scrapping, that's on them. At the end of the day, they was barking back and forth. Hey, yo, y'all chill, y'all chill. They kept going. At some point, all right, yo, y'all got y'all handle that in y'all's own way. Because nowadays people do handle it in their own way, and it don't be a way that someone can come back from. Which is true, but you also got to know the the your your personnel. I knew it won't go lead to what you like the ultimate what you're alluding to it would have just maybe been some pushing or something like that or maybe some um some fisticuffs thrown but it won't go be to that but that's on them y'all gotta figure that out so okay. your boy your boy is gonna get to fight and you're not gonna come in between and them? two of my homeboys are tussling with each other mm-hmm. and i know that they my home me and my cousin you and e, you and we, e we y'all fight. gotta work that y'all out. gotta work that out y'all gotta work that out I'm going to let y'all ain't good friends. We are good friends. Y'all ain't no good friends. I am Why? good friends. Y'all supposed to break that joint Why? up. Why? Nah. Diffuse nah, nah. the situation. Why? Hey, y'all brothers. Why y'all doing this? You just said dare <laughs> episode? Yes. Y'all supposed to be brothers. Y'all and you my brother. And, and brothers you fight. brother. Yes. And brothers fight. Yeah, y'all got to work that out. Brothers fight. Cousins fight. Yeah. Family fight. The only time I say, all right, hey, hey, chill, they get into a physical, one of them land a, a good one on the other one and knock them out. But see, that's And they not... hit the ground. Then I'm like, all right, chill. Yeah. You won now. You won. All right, yeah. The fight yeah. over with. But we all know it ain't no you won. I'm going to get my just like, get back. Just like in the movie Life. Eddie Murphy was popping off. Yep. He had to, they had to let they that had to ride. let it go. Okay, but that's jail culture, though. No, no, no. That's life culture. That's life culture. That's life culture. In prison culture, you got to let cats nah, nah, nah. get they. What's the difference? Just like my man, when he knocked him out, he said, man had enough. And they stopped. Go on, and they stopped. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> you got to get that. You got to got to do what you got to do. But at the same time, here's the thing. I just, I'm trying to prevent the escalation from going further than what it needs to go. And that's if, cool. If, if that's we barking at each other, that's one thing. You know what I'm saying? Barking mm-hmm. at each other is one thing. So why didn't you stop me at the Y when I swung off on old boy was playing back in the day? <laughs> I won't dare. You were there. I won't dare. Yes, you were. Uh-uh. Yes, you were there. You was there. Who who you get to fighting with? Uh, I don't remember the white boy name. I don't remember You swung name. off on him and he... Sw- sw- no, he, he won't no swinging back. He knew what time it was. He didn't I, want them problems. I, well, I guess I'll let you rock. See but what I'm I saying? <laughs> You want a good friend. But I don't remember that. I don't remember. Yeah. I, I seriously don't remember that. Yeah. And I don't even know if we would knew each other back then. We did. We didn't we play did. that much. At, we played that one time at the Y, and I had, uh, I remember I scored a point. I scored a basket, stole the ball, got a layup, and you said, Troy effing sucks. That's the only thing. <laughs> And I remember laughing. That definitely sounded like I remember the laughing and going down the court because I was like, he ain't trying to give me no love. I was like, that's okay. That's okay. That's the only time I remember hooping at the Y. <laughs> they got to finish that, bro. Yeah. That's, gotta, how I got, that's how I go. Because, okay, how I let's, go. let's tell the truth. De-escalation only works when one or both of the people involved really ain't trying to get active for real. Right. If I'm really not trying to get active and you can't thankfully save the day and de-escalate this and now I can say, man, if it weren't for Troy breaking us up. It would have got ugly. If somebody really want to get active, your de-escalation tactics not gonna work. is not going to work. If I feel like in my mind I'm already to that point about this person, yeah. you standing in between us don't mean nothing. Yeah, I'm going to try to get past you. I'm going to go around you. I'm going to wait until everybody thinks stuff is calmed down and I do what I was planning to do from the beginning. 
So it's like pick and choose. If I really want to get active, your de-escalation tactics ain't doing nothing for me. I like to appeal. Did, did not last episode, my man said that we were made in the image of God. Mm -hmm. I try to appeal to mm -hmm. that image of God bearer that's inside of you to say, hey, brother, hey, brother, hey, bro, mm -hmm. my, my brother, <laughs> this ain't necessary. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's why would. But that only works based on the image that I have about myself and other situations. You seeing the image of God in me, if I see or believe that I'm something else, it don't matter what you say to me. Because if I don't have that similar thought as you, then what you're telling me right now probably don't matter in this moment. I've this ain't even a moment. If I'm enraged, what's the chance of me having a good ground that's going to be receptive to the words that you're saying about the image that I have about? That's all right. I didn't, I'm I, just saying you're trying it, but I'm just saying what's the likelihood? And that's what I'm saying. Then I got to sacrifice myself to try to hold you back. I might get a couple punches thrown at me. That's fine. But I will. I can take it. I would much rather the 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 wrath be taken out on me than someone else. Man, blessed. Be I'm gonna get you a super suit. Yeah, blessed be the peacemakers, for they shall see God. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah. I'm just trying to be a peacemaker, my Nothing brother. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. <laughs> but I tell you what, I will fight about. <laughs> Are they talking about the person themselves? What do you mean? In that uh, particular scripture, blessed are the peacemakers. I make peace with people that I come in contact with, not me stepping out in the middle of the street and I think it I think, with I think it can apply, it can apply, to, apply both. to both. Actually, I've never heard that's that's a great interpretation. I've never heard of it like that, but that is that's really good. Um yeah, that was really good. Uh but I think it can apply to both. I think it apply apply to both. Now, one thing I will fight somebody over, and this has really been making me mad a lot lately, and I'm not sure if y'all seen this. But uh, people have been coming enraged over the fact that wherever you go nowadays, you have to tip somebody uh, mm -hmm. and, and, and give somebody some money just because they rang up your food. Well, you don't have to. You don't have it. to. And I was about to say But that. the fact that it is insinuated that, you know, you should or that you have the you audacity to ask. You're giving uh, options. Uh -huh. And, that's a re and part, part of me wants to go revert back to cash. Mm -hmm. Because when you pay with cash at a uh, at a rest uh, not a restaurant but like at a store or something like that, it ain't no turn the the thing around and say, hey, you would you want to get ten, fifteen, or twenty two? <laughs> Don't worry about it, because I click no and turn it right. <laughs> right, back. right. <laughs> no, I think that's something right within back. you that feels and that only works on obligated. People like Troy. Right. Let hence me not generalize. He, hence why he left. You are generalized. Let me not generalize. But there are people in that that are. In Troy's like demo. You. In Troy's demo. <laughs> that are easily persuaded. Or if you push Hence why he went enough, to get a phone and, and left, left with, with the internet. internet. <laughs> there are people like that where if you push them or make them feel uncomfortable, they'll kind of just like right, they'll do comply it. Yeah. with whatever. Yeah. It's a demo people. And that's why they flip the screen That's around. like when you order food. Like you order food online or you, um, yeah, order food online or call in or order. Um, pay for it. Go pick it up. Then they still ask if you want to. What am I giving you? I'm I not giving you no damn tip. I did this. Oh, yeah. I did this. I drove all the way over here myself. Right. I'm not giving you no tip. So I was at, uh, so during the pandemic, right, uh, I, was, I went to this restaurant and uh, I, I ordered food at the bar to go, right? And this lady came in and ordered right after me. And um, no, no, no. She ordered prior to coming. She came to pick up. And when she came to pick it up, she said, oh, and this is for you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And I was like, wait, we are you supposed to tip on the carryout? I've never yeah, heard not, that before. Not doing that. So then I put a post on my on my Facebook page. Wrong and place. <laughs> I put a post on my Facebook With page. With the senior citizens. And, and sure there was, all had a... <laughs> and there was like, uh, it was at least like 80 to 100 uh, replies of former waitresses and waiters saying yes you should it's courteous to tip on the carry out Subject stuff courteous. like that Subject um and my uncle said yeah uh my tip is uh look both ways before you cross the street that's <laughs> mm -hmm. what that's what he said don't walk down dark alleys at night yes i, I know you listening right now i'll talk about you um but uh but yeah i did not know you were supposed to do that because I'm not supposed to do that. I definitely got my food you can left. if you want to right it's not but it's, it's not, not a requirement obligation. if you got to carry out I'm talking about carryout only. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If I order a carryout order and I had to come pick it up and do all the stuff myself and all they did was turn this screen around for me to check out, I'm not giving you a tip. That's dead. 
if we at the restaurant and you served me, whether the service was good or bad, because you did the service, I'm going to give it. Give now, you that's what I agree with, because I don't like I don't like when people be like, well, the service was bad. I, I, all that it, don't matter. That don't Just matter. Tip, Just tip, tip the, and let's, the and let's roll. Right. So I will tip whether yeah. the service is good or bad. Because you executed the service, I give a tip. Mm-hmm. But on a carryout order, I'm not giving you no tip. Mm-hmm. I'm paying what I paid for. Correct. And then I'm leaving. Yeah, mm-hmm. I, I agree with that. Yeah, I agree with that. I, that's why I like when you mentioned about ordering your food online. I like ordering online because when I ask for a tip, I don't feel guilty. And See, that's what I said. That's, that's, that's within you. <laughs> that's, that, that's, that's within the you, my brother. There. The See, that's Troy's problem. <laughs> yeah. The person is standing there right. and Troy don't want to feel Pressure. awkward. By turning that screen around. Yeah, and I'm pressure. standing there, they flip that screen around or tip pop up. I look right, right in the eye, I go. So No. What if okay, what if you go to uh 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 Starbucks mm-hmm. and I they don't tip them. You don't they making your food. It's almost mm-hmm. the same. I mean they're I'm making drive through. Or order I order online. Oh yeah, that's I do it. only go through the drive through. Yeah. And I use my app, so I do I use, I use, I use the app. Go ahead so, and scan it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not doing that. I do that. enjoy a little Starbucks run. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So no, I do use the app. Okay. So we're not doing it at Starbucks. Um, okay. So only at places. Why, why would I tip somebody at Starbucks? Um, because the same person that takes your order ends up making your order. And then they also deliver your order too. Okay. So, so that's kind of like, if they actually doing more work than a waitress. How? If you think about it. Because, because the they actually prepare it. They're making it. Yeah. But that's not and necessarily that's not, that's, true. If you go to the drive-thru, and then they, they, deliver. Don't, they don't really be making, you know, at least my, the Starbucks. Someone else is making it. That's true. I, Someone else <laughs> is making it, and they bring it over to right. the window. Mm. So, that's the how the, the process works. And I don't have a problem with people who do tip, and, you know, if you choose to do that, great. That's just not. I'm not saying you shouldn't. Yeah, that's just, just not. It's not a requirement. It's not an obligation. Um, if Sometimes I may just do it to whatever, but, yeah, no, it's not a consistent practice. Mm. I um I I have uh channeled my inner Melvin and have started hitting zero consistently. Why do I feel like you only channel your inner <laughs> prejudice? Your inner me prejudice when it becomes something. I'm prejudiced. No, I'm just- <laughs> I feel like Troy only channels his inner me mm-hmm. when it comes to something that is disruptive or negative. Absolutely. And then he ch- channels his inner male. Yeah. He don't channel inner male on nothing else. Mm-mm. Only the negative and disruptive. Wait, wait, wait. So is, is that how you see it? It's negative and disruptive to not tip? You put it in a, you always use it in a negative it's way when it's something receiving. contrary. No, it's not how I'm receiving it. It's how he be posing it. <laughs> so I'm not acting. When I went to make a bad day for this uh, rep. <laughs> Sales of uh, customer service rep, mm-hmm. I channel my inner male. Yeah, yeah, Because yeah. I, I doubled down on that. Hey, uh, that maybe that's just no. how, how When I did. didn't want to give a tip at a restaurant. <laughs> yeah. I channel, I channel my, my inner male. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. So let me clarify. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, So yeah, let yeah. me clarify. It's he not... ain't say when I'm getting to the grind, I'm hustling, I'm making things happen for myself, I'm mm-hmm. channeling my inner male. Well, yeah. actually, you might appreciate what I'm about to say. Okay. What When I say that is, I this is a moment in which I value myself. Mm-hmm. And... As much as I, I, and I can value myself and not devalue someone else at the same time. Mm-hmm. Right. Because oftentimes what happens is I will uh, lower myself for the sake of other people. Um, because, you know, it's kind of like the the training that I've had. But in all cases, it's not a life or death type of thing. And I realized that, hey, if I, if I don't do this thing or if I do this thing at this moment, I can benefit from it. And it's and the repercussions are not as bad as what I used to be because I I do think in extreme of how something bad can go. Hence the reason why I break up fights. You know what I'm saying? So in the, in those certain moments, I'll channel my inner male and like you know what? This ain't a big. This ain't. This is not as big of a deal as what I'm making it. So I can go ahead and do this X Y Z action. So yeah, I hope that you. I hope that honors you. I hope that that honors you. I appreciate you. Yeah, I appreciate. The, the crazy thing though about Melvin, for the listeners, is the fact that <laughs> he lived like this on a regular, but he wants you to give him praise. Like, like you live like this every day. But you, what you mean? Why? Why it only gotta be when when, when you negative. doing something negative? You do. You live like this every day. What are you talking about? <laughs> what I'm saying is, this is how you operate in general. This is your how, your philosophy and aspects life. of life yes this right. is your philosophy mm-hmm. so how are you going to coin it as him 
mirroring some of your behaviors some as it's only when it's negative, negative. It's the ones that are when negative. you live like this <laughs> he picks the ones that are negative he's actively picking the ones that are negative there's so many other things that I display on a daily basis uh-huh. in life and he picks the negative ones okay. to channel okay. when it's to his benefit and that's why I be saying to people and I wish people would make up their mind about mm-hmm. me mm-hmm. okay I say this all the time I'm gonna say it again so what you gonna say understand. Mm-hmm. people treat me like a pit bull People hate pit bulls until they need a pit bull and then they want a pit bull. You, ha- you say all the negative stuff, but pit bulls are aggressive. Pit bulls mean pit bulls bite people. Y'all mm-hmm. don't want no pit bulls. But then when you need somebody to be mean and aggressive and bite somebody, you get, the pit bull. You get a pit bull. Mm-hmm. You're going to keep me on a leash and put a muzzle on me until you want me to bite somebody. Mm-hmm. And then now all the stuff that I have and bring to the table is it's beneficial because mm-hmm. now it's working for you. Mm-hmm. See, y'all treat me like a damn pit bull is what really happens. <laughs> mm. And people always say negative stuff about male. But if y'all really sit back, I'm just one of the most misunderstood people mm. walking around. That's how you view world. it. I'm very, I'm very misunderstood. I think that's because pretty unique. Because if you actually look that's at it, if you actually uh, sit back and actually listen to the reasons why I'm upset most of the time mm-hmm. or why I'm aggravated, it's because I feel like either people aren't reciprocating to me when I'm giving to them, mm-hmm. or I feel like they're not considering me in a way that I would consider them. Right. They're treating me in a way that I wouldn't treat them. Mm-hmm. So if you listen to mo- most of the stuff that I'm saying, it's because I'm just frustrated at how someone either lack of consideration or whatever mm-hmm. towards me and it's pissing me off. Yeah. So then I display it or express it, but it don't come out that way. Mm-hmm. So that's why I be saying I'm misunderstood. I'm Definitely. more considerate than people would like to I think you consider a person give me credit for. The statement that that uh that always comes back in my mind is you saying lace don't care. <laughs> but I do. Exactly. And I and he I He don't. <laughs> and people love him for not caring. No. He no, don't, no, no, though. No, no, no. But Mel. And they uh, love him for it. But let me finish. Let me finish what I'm saying. And I've realized you do care a lot. And I and I appreciate that part of, which kind of surprises me when you say that you care, but then you let you let two of your boys rock it out. You know what I'm saying? As far as like fighting each other because and stuff like that. Because it's the principle. That's why I keep trying to tell y'all. That's why I be saying I be misunderstood. Y'all think I want to be right. Y'all think I care about Oh, being I don't right. think that at all. I, I think you, I think think you, I think I you're a very principled, right. a lot principle of driven think individual. That I care about being right. They like, male just want to be right. Male likes to talk because he want to be right. I principle is not about, about right. Principle. Yeah, principle is not I about right. I be arguing the principle. It's the, always the principle with mm-hmm. me. I don't care. I don't have to be right. It's the principle. Mm-hmm. And if two brothers is fighting, they gotta finish that. Yeah, they gotta get. They gotta get if that. If Lace out. And, and his, I'm not gonna say his name. If Lace and his brother going at it, who am I to break that? And up? it's a dub for me. So <laughs> it, that's all. Going at it, who am I to step in between and be like, that's all right, a dub for me. <laughs> if I see that one of them start getting more the best of the other one, then I'd be like, all right, my man, they had enough. You know what I'm saying? You won. Let let it go. But I I and giving you props. No, I I see how I see that you do care. I see that you do care. And I'm, t- and I, I'm I, misunderstood too. I'm tired of people saying I don't care. Lace, we're not talking about you right now. <laughs> I'm tired of people <laughs> saying I don't Melvin. care. Talk about Melvin. And and your hustle too. I'm gonna get back to you. But in your hustle too, I do appreciate you. Hey, you have some you have some negative things that you do that are empowering to others. So just take it. <laughs> golly, just accept it and take right, it. All right, I'll accept, I'll I accept mean, it and golly. take it. Cool, that's fine. Shed light on me for all the negativity I bring to the world. <laughs> I'll accept it and receive it. Because the way the things that y'all be saying I'm nutty for. We don't be saying that you nutty. Listen, the things that y'all say I'm nutty for, then you go and practice it, and then people be like, I see that podcast working out good for you. Huh? People say that about me all the time. Exactly. Right. Exactly. But in the moment, you like, Troy's nutty for this. Mm-hmm. But then you and accidentally or purposely practice it. And then people be like, "Well, it's the old saying: it's crazy until somebody do it." Mm-hmm. I mean, that's just what it is. So, yeah, couldn't be done. Can't do this. Can't do that until somebody do it. I will admit two things. Both of these are truths. The first one is y'all have been rubbing off on me since we've been doing this podcast. Mm. That's like you know. So I've been practicing a lot of what we talk about in these conversations. I I leave them here and I take it with me and I try to put it in practice. So people always be like, I see that podcast working out for you, something like that. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Especially when it comes to just me reframing how I say things to people and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Um, But the second thing that is also true is that I feel like I've got no progress with these methods that y'all want me to use. And (laughs) I would much rather 
revert back to my old. What do you mean? What no you progress. Mean? My old Give me an example. I feel like, you know how I always talk about all the time, one of my biggest struggles in life is not growing weary and well-doing. Mm -hmm. Like just doing good and seeing no good come from yeah, my good. Yeah. Uh, so I be feeling like when I do that, I'm doing something good. But then I don't be getting nothing good back. <laughs> good back from it. So then I be like, or are you Why viewing it? Are you viewing, it, are you viewing it as transaction, or are you viewing it as the opportunity to Ooh, to grow? Because that's that's, that's that's the other question. that's the other piece. Because mm -hmm. if you're doing what you're supposed to do, that may be the what you're overall supposed outcome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What you're supposed uh, to do, you yeah, may not get a, a certain yeah, that's benefit. My, that'd be my problem. I just again, if I don't see no good coming from this, why am I wasting my time with it? But that'd the good could be, my, be oh, I didn't cut problem. somebody out today. That's that'd good. Be my brain. That benefits the other person. It that benefits benefit you me. too. It be <laughs> but see, that's the thing. You, you're that saying, don't benefit me. You're saying it doesn't benefit you. Yes, it doesn't benefit you in the moment. moment. Right. But in the, over a course of time, that might have saved you from something down the line. Like, never know. You never know. Well, I ain't made no progress with these. Well, yeah, Currently, yeah. we'll see. Yeah. I guess it's like a stock. You got to... <laughs> You gotta buy a share and then gotcha. hopefully later turn Absolutely. into something. Absolutely, but, but like but I just feel like I ain't made no progress. And in, in the moment, position. in the moment, uh, we kind of talked about this before. Uh, it seems as though generally this is how it's going to happen, but we don't know unless unless we let it play out. Yeah, let it's it just is. It feels it's it, it's whack. You yeah. still feeling weary and well doing? I always feel weary and well doing. When I do, like I told you, it's the struggle of my life. You know how you had a life verse that you couldn't remember? Yeah, yeah. This is the struggle of my life. <laughs> I've been uh -huh. like this my entire life. Uh huh. Well, maybe that's, that's just like my, maybe that's just your one burden. of my struggles. Maybe that's bro. just the when burden. When I don't feel. see the fruits of doing well, it's hard for me to keep doing well. Mm -hmm. Like y'all, people think I sound crazy when I say it, but it's been my life's experience. I've gotten farther. I've gotten farther. Doing the opposite of good or treating people poorly than I have treating people well and doing the. Right I would thing. disagree with that. I, I, you, I mean, you that may be your viewpoint, and I, I respect it, but I, I wholeheartedly disagree with that because obviously there is something um, within you that has to come to fruition in whatever capacity. But at the end of the day, getting weary while doing well, I don't know how you go. You're gonna find some comfort in addressing that because doing well is what you strive for right mm. yeah I, you want to do well overall i mean I, you can categorize well, life it. in turn well i mean put you, a definition on well so when, when i say well you want to you want to be able to provide you want to be right. able to have okay, yeah, yeah, things yeah. you want to be able to do ex yes that's doing well right mm. so being weary while doing those things that may be the doing well i don't know the other aspect of what you are categorizing doing well mm -hmm. if that is okay i don't I'm, i don't want to cuss this person out or that's the do way that, that, doing okay good deeds, see that's not doing well talk, yeah okay to, uh, free, oh, reframe okay. myself well, adjusting that, some of my habits and ways and stuff like that that's the well for me okay well is not this well the, the well that you talked about to me is what i feel like i should be doing right but so that's, that's doing not well. well doing well doing to me is going out of my way to do stuff so what if you what if you others. got that's what if, the well doing for so me. what if you gotta what if you stop going out of your way doing well at the expense of others and you lose all the other stuff that you had Work so hard to do well for. Mm. But I feel like I had all this stuff already when I wasn't doing well over here but I, because I worked to get this. But what I'm saying is savings, savings you got it while you wasn't doing well. Mm. But savings is now you flip that switch. All right, I'm just going to go off and say whatever I want to say. Do Treat people out. Don't do deeds, this, that, and the third. And you lose everything you obtained while you was doing not well. Mm. Then what? And you gain you gain something in the moment. You gain your freedom in the sense of I get to be me and I don't have to change and I can say whatever I want to say, but then you lose things in the process. Just a question. Just a question. That was, that was a, uh, the transactional question. That was really good. I don't know how to respond. I mean, you don't have to. Mo I'm just saying. Over. I'm just playing. I'm, I'm, I'm just playing. I'm, I'm just saying. I don't know how to respond. I'm just, that's the well, the the well, the weary and well doing for me. That's that's what I'd be saying. So treating people right, not cuss people out. Not what? It's the, treating people. Uh, <laughs> uh, Here's the, what are we yeah, talking so, so about? I mean, I, I mean, treat, I mean, treating people right in a sense, not treating people respectably, because I can treat people respectably. 
I could treat people kindly when I first in, encountered them and stuff mm-hmm. like that. It's the the well doing to me is like the the above and beyond. Like again, like I said, I I just keep using conversation because it's the low hanging fruit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, adjusting how I talk to your benefit. Mm-hmm. But even in doing that, seeing no benefit or adjustment in your behavior or in my direction, although I've gone out of my way to make this adjustment but, to benefit you, it don't benefit me. Right. But what to I'm change. saying. So I think I think I think we're getting somewhere. I think Doctor Life Coach Lace is you in know, the building. You get what I'm I think saying? I think we're getting you somewhere because what, what you want to what you want to see is the benefit of that person's response to what you or how you have dumbed the conversation down to address them appropriately. Right. You want to see, a re- and that's the I've said it before on the potty. That is the issue that a lot of us carry is we want to see actions from what we plant mm-hmm. when that's not necessarily the case. You did what you were supposed to do by. Or how you felt that as you should have addressed mm-hmm. it, whether they respond differently or whatever, that is a them thing. That ain't got nothing to do with you. Mm-hmm. That mm-hmm. had nothing to do with you. Mm-hmm. So I, I remember years ago when I first got into um, education, um, Doctor Anderson. He said straight up, "You're gonna meet people where they are. You can plant the seed. You will never see that seed come to grow. Mm-hmm. You'll never see if it landed on good ground, if it mm-hmm. was choked out, or if it was, uh, you know, what I'm saying whatever. So all you can do is plant the seed. What they choose to do with that is on them." Mm-hmm. It's up to you if you choose to. This is how I'm going to approach it and keep it pushing. I mean, it's what it is. Mm-hmm. That would be easier for me to receive if I didn't feel like I was going out of my way. So why if do you it was feel part like you of have my day to day? If it was part of my day to day and I was dropping nuggets and I mm-hmm. didn't see the seeds uh, grow into whatever, mm-hmm. that's fine with me. I'm adjusting my pattern. I'm adjusting my life. But why do you feel like you have to behavior. do that? Do you have to have these people in your atmosphere to address them differently like is that something that is that a relationship that you have to have if it's not a relationship that i have to have then i don't care how i okay handle well, certain stuff yeah it's the well. people around me like even with y'all sometimes like how mm-hmm. i've been working on how i adjust how i talk to y'all who like, asked y'all be for saying that it. y'all all, all the time y'all be saying it wanted me who? to me, I like speak you the way better you are. speak better and da 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 y'all be saying that y'all always be saying speak that. better well, i like i like that don't sound like are. a verbiage i use that one <laughs> <laughs> do what <laughs> Only time I've ever my seen. approach, my attitude, my viewpoint, blah blah blah, like all that, all those. But that's what makes that you you. Seen. That's why we are able to cut up like we do. But I know, but that's why I be wondering why people keep trying to change it though. Well, and even y'all be trying to change. It. Just but, like this conversation right now is transformative. It's trying to be transformed. No, 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 no. I'm just dropping. I'm just playing seeds. You, you, you say choose, that. You choose to do what you, you do. Say that. I didn't say. I didn't say Melvin Brown the third. You need to change. I've never. I I don't know if I've ever asked you to change for me, but the majority of the time we talk about change has been out, relationships outside of this relationship. Mm-hmm. I understand that this is an iron sharpens iron type of environment, so it's going to be some times when you know it gets a little hot, it gets a little heated, and that's just the way that it is. But we, the times when we talk about change, has been a situation brought to us. You share how you felt about it, and we shared how we. Just felt an alternative about it. perspective for yeah. consideration. Mm-hmm. That's all. But I, I, I don't, I don't know if I've ever. I, We've I, never I, asked this in, in word to change. <laughs> Y'all do. <laughs> no. Maybe not in your direction, but you, no. be, you maybe be that's how. Me that you maybe that's me. how you per- perceive it. But perception is just that. Perception is not reality. I've known you for how long? Why the hell would I ask you to change now? You, you. Well, you've been asking me to change. I just give not you. At, you're not coming I just out say right you might like, you might want to you, you, you can view like, it from a different exactly. lens. That's not change. That is expanding. I'm not your saying scope. changing. You're not coming out and asking me to change, like saying, you Mel, you need to." No, that's what I'm. I'm not. You're saying You're a grown that y'all man, do that. 22. I'm make not decisions. Saying that you do that, but as you, <laughs> as y'all have, <laughs> Eddie, you make Eddie. your own decisions. Eddie. As y'all try to offer me alternative perspective. The intent usually behind that is hopefully that it will be transformative for me in a way that could either give me a new, uh, a new perspective. That's a it. new perspective, but maybe some, maybe a, a, an alternative behavior as well. See, I think that's the piece where you got me confused. <laughs> I, think, I think that's where you got me confused. <laughs> so let's call it in, okay? <laughs> I think that's where you got me confused. All right, come on. Because an alternative perspective is just for consideration. The other piece, as far as applying something or whatever, that's that's solely up to you. I, that's not anything that I'm pushing. I could just say, Mel, you might have you thought about it this way. That's not me pushing anything on you. That's just asking you, have you thought about an alternative 
perspective. What you choose to do with that is on you. All right. So I'm glad we got that cleared up. I, I'm, I, at least I hope so. <laughs> I hope, at least I hope so. At least I hope so. That's where you got me confused. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, hey man, I, um, have has has the podcast been therapeutic for you guys? I hope it it's has. It's always it good. It is my, my therapy always because good. I don't want to pay a copay. No, it's so I I come here. It's very therapeutic. I don't get the even though I get chastised for being wholesome, it is very therapeutic. I'm glad I, I'm glad that you guys are vulnerable. That's one thing. I also say that I appreciate you about you, Mel. This is a male appreciation. Male appreciation post. <laughs> uh, your vulnerability. And uh, matter of fact, I've been uh, trying to execute that in my own personal life outside of here. Um, we haven't had an opportunity to be as vulnerable as, uh, as we have before. Uh, I feel like at one point we all were, but we just, you know, just life happens, you know. But I was like, all right, I need to be vulnerable somewhere. So I've opened up more at my in my household, um, being sharing like some of my fears and stuff like that. And I don't know if it has immediate benefits, but I know one thing that uh, I think I think my wife appreciates about it is is that I am open about some of the things that you know I've never spoken about out loud. Mm-hmm. So um, that has been one of the things that I've gleaned from us is just like being able to be more vulnerable. Sure, that's real. Yeah, that's real. That's dope. And that is a, I tapped into my mail mm-hmm. to be more vulnerable. I appreciate it. Good, a good thing. A good, a, yeah, it's a, a great thing. thing. You know what I'm saying? It's a good thing. Not trying to change you, but Not, just, just acknowledge you. Just acknowledge You know what I'm saying? That's all we try to do. You know what I mean? Because <laughs> that's where you got me messed up. <laughs> <laughs> that's where you got me messed up. <laughs> Listeners, oh, if man. you're still there, yeah. um, we would we we r- appreciate y'all rocking with us. This is 101. 101. Episode 101. If there's any topics or stories or anything that y'all want to share that y'all want us to talk about, to touch on, or whatever the case may be, please uh DM us on uh on Instagram where that's where you can find us. You can DM us even on TikTok or even put a comment uh if you don't mind everybody else reading it. Um, but if you want to be something like that, reach out to us. We love to hear. With some yeah. of the things that y'all rocking with that we can potentially give the caveman perspective. Absolutely. And if you like if you like what you hear, keep listening. And if you don't like what you hear, keep, keep, keep listening. listening. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Until we say something. One I'm gonna hit. One I'm gonna hit. You know what I mean? One I'm gonna hit. And you should not always listen to someone that you always agree with. Fact. That's true. You need to challenge your perspective. A diversity of thought. A diversity of thought. Yes. And that's what we bring here. At the Manly Deeds Podcast. We yep, appreciate yep. all y'all tapping in. It's your boy T Dot Roy, uh Life Coach Lace, my boy Melly Mel. See you next time. Next we time. Out.